Hello everyone and uh, welcome in a new tutorial. Uh, I'm back today with a, a new video about caustics. Well, uh, we'll just start right away. You may have heard about caustics uh, because it has been added to Blender in the, uh, in the few last updates and versions. And if you are not familiar with caustics, I'll try to show you here a quick demonstration about it. So caustics is when light goes through a curved uh, object, which is mostly glass or some object that is specular. And when light goes through it, it gets reflected on the floor and the diffused floor, like you see here in this uh, picture. So it's a really uh, beautiful uh, effect that was not available, that were not that was not available uh, on Blender before, but in the uh, in the three point one version, I guess it has been added. So today we'll go through a quick demonstration. As you can see here, we'll try to create this, um, and you will have the source file in the end of the video. So don't worry, don't have to create. Uh, this cup uh, from scratch you will have it you will have the source file in the end of the video and actually this tutorial were inspired by Will Gibbons I don't know if you know him he is a 3d designer he used Keyshot by the way which was actually inspired by, by one of his uh, videos yeah this one well, Keyshot is a bit different than Blender and the render engine that were used for this uh, demonstration were different. I don't know what render engine was used uh, exactly, but the result with Blender will be different, but it's okay to try some things out. I will just try to create everything from scratch just to walk through all the steps that are required to create caustics in Blender. Well, let's just try and model a real simple <coughs> glass uh, or cup. I'll try to fast forward right now. Yeah, so uh, as you can see here, I'm just trying to do some uh, different curvatures on the glass to see the caustics uh, in a good way. I will just add some, uh, I make it solid. I'll add solidify modifier as you can see here. and. I will try to add a light, of course, point light, like this, we'll get back to it in a moment. Let's just increase the power to 1000, and in the material settings of this class, we'll make it a middle reference zero and maximum transmission as you can see here we'll get back to this view and add a plane like this well this plane where the the caustics will be shown all right so uh, so to create this uh, effects of caustics, we have to set three things out. So the first thing is the the object that reflects the caustics or the reflections, which is the glass, and the receiver of the caustic, which is the plane and the light. 
So we'll start with the uh, the glass object. We'll go to uh, object properties and we scroll down till the shading tab here, and we tick the cast shadow caustics. All right. Second thing we will do the same with the the plane in the shading pro in the object properties, the shading tab and caustics we take the uh, receive shadow caustics all right and the last thing that i think that i have already ticked out which is the shadow caustics here all right the shadow caustics normally it's unticked like this uh, you will have to activate it shadow caustics all right um, here we almost have the effect that we want as you can see here we have some reflections but before proceeding we have to set them some things out first thing is we have to make sure that the object is shaded smooth all right so sometimes when you don't shade it smooth it will not uh, reflect anything so you have to shade smooth your object the other thing is we, here basically we have our caustics uh, done but there are some things that we can sort which is playing around with the light uh, here as you can see the radius as we uh, make the radius minimum like zero the shadows will get uh, sharper as you can see here and this is what we want to achieve you can see that the shadows and the caustics are more sharp and this is the most uh, relevant uh, effect that we want you can play around to with the glass to have various effects uh, the other thing that you can do also is to change the type of the light. You can set it as an area lighting and make the size bigger. As, you, as I said, the more the size of the lamp or the light, the more uh, clear the shadow is. And the, the smaller the size, the sharper the shadow. So you can set it as you can see here. When you maximize the shadow uh, when you maximize the size of the light the shadows get blurred and you can set it as you want for me I liked uh, the point light with the radius set to zero so this is basically the caustics enabled you can play around you can even animate this thing out uh, as you wish we can try this, uh, the same thing with uh, the other uh, cups that I have uh, modeled. This one, for example, as you can see. We have this one. Uh, another thing that you can do also is to play around with the thickness of the cup. You can change it like this it's, it's up to you anyway let's try with 0 oh, 3 as you can see here the effect of the glass on the the receiver all right for me i liked personally i like the 0 oh, 1 uh, thickness so uh, in the file in the description you will find all the uh, all the scene for free of course with four different uh, cups different this is the other one that I've created you can play around with it this one you can also move the lights around to see the different uh, effects as you can see here which can get more interesting like you see ok 
can animate this thing out like this it will be so much interesting to watch okay this is the second glass and this is the third one which we have used already okay and I have the first one it is a real simple one you can play around with things I mean the, the most important thing is to create a glass shader or a glass a glass object with the maximum uh, maximum amount of curvatures to have many uh, reflections on your plane okay another thing that you can do also is to play around with the the color of the light or even the color of the uh, the glass for example you can change the color of the glass like this to have different effects which can get much more interesting okay look how much beautiful are these reflections right here You can play around with the setting, the position of the light, the colors, even the position of the the glass. It's totally flexible and it's up to you. I think guys that's it for uh, this tutorial. I hope that you liked it. You will find everything in the link in the description. All the glasses, all the... Uh, all the settings are uh, enabled you will have just to try it in your own and play around with the scene so thank you guys for watching and see you in the next time inshallah